Hello ladies, this is Navai Q here. Um, and I wanted to take some time today just because I was having a conversation with a friend of mine now who I've known for a number of years. Uh, and I met him professionally many years ago. And he mentioned something to me which was quite profound for me and actually um, touched my heart. Uh, and it was the idea, and I spoke to him and we were having a conversation about is there anything that he needs help or support uh, with because I have been mentoring him and supporting him for some time and he has seen my journey as I've grown into the leader that I am today and he mentioned to me something and I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this is that um, when we were and he was in the UK and it came to a time where uh, he was looking for other opportunities one of the first international experience and expert opportunities I gave him was in uh, a previous school of mine uh, many years ago and since then he has never looked back and he has grown uh, as an expat uh, a professional expat and was worked in Qatar is working in Saudi Arabia now and is doing really really well and he said to me that would not have been possible had you not given me the first opportunity at the time when I needed it the most and that's profound because as a school leader as a principal as any leader in a school you are creating those opportunities for those others around you that perhaps, uh, and you're the catalyst for that, and you trigger that. So that's important that you acknowledge how much of an impact you have. And the other side of this is because you have such an impact and when you are a leader, you need to consider being that coach and mentor. So whether it be this person or a few others, uh, in my my career, uh, in, in my headship over the last nearly nine years, that I've been able to coach, whether it be formal coaching or indirect coaching, and support so many lives. And that's your duty of care, that as you grow up and as you go on with your career, that you coach and support others uh, and take them along with you uh, for whatever their aspirations might be. And I thought about that. I've never done any formal training and coaching, never supported anyone. I didn't know where it came from, but it also comes from the fact that whilst I was going up in my career, I didn't have much coaching or good mentors or role models, and those that were around were not very good role models. Um, so maybe the, from the, the lack thereof uh, and the hunger for, it came from that, that I wanted to see others excel and exceed and it kind of came from that natural place for me. Some of you may be able to relate with that because maybe perhaps in your past you've not had mentoring as you've grown up as teenagers uh, and in your professional lifestyles. Others may not be able to relate to that. Maybe you had some other challenges. But the point is the decisions we make have a profound impact on everyone else around us, whether we realize it or not. In this case, I didn't know this and I didn't realize how much of an impact I had on said person for a number of years, but clearly I have. Uh, and that's helped him, his family, uh, and you will do that with others. So please keep making those key decisions and please keep coaching uh, others. So this is more sharing my advice with you. Please let us know as well, have you had a profound impact in terms of your decisions or anything else that we might do? So we do it more responsibly. Thank you very much. I hope you're all keeping safe. I look forward to making more videos. Please do support the channel. Uh, please do. Um, send me some comments in terms of anything that you'd like to know more about. I'm accessible and I'm here to be able to share my experiences so that others benefit or that others can disagree with and share their experiences with me for me to learn. Thank you.